So today we begin Savasana. So just allow your body to relax and release. You want to shut off all the noise. And just open your hands to the ceiling. Open your legs. And just take a deep breath in and exhale. Now we want to start to pay special attention to our breathing. So as we pay attention to our breathing, we want to disregard any kind of judgment calls on whether it's too long or it's too short. You just want to acknowledge your breath. So now we're going to begin to breathe a little slower and a little deeper. We start with an exhale. So take a big exhale. And then a big inhale. We're going to take another big exhale. Remember, exhale means empty, empty all the air out. And as you inhale, let's inhale slowly for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And now hold that breath and take one more sip. And then we're going to exhale slowly for nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and release and exhale. If you haven't already, let's go ahead and replace our hands on our belly. We take our index finger and second finger, and it's right in the navel, and we reach the little fingers down into that pelvic bowl. They call that pelvis a bowl because it holds all our digestive organs and holds everything in place, right? So we reach our fingers downward. And now we're doing our big Buddha belly breathing. So take a big exhale and push all the air out. And now as you inhale, imagine that pathway of the air going in through your nose or mouth, down your throat, past the lungs, activating the diaphragm, and deep into that belly. So we hold and pause, take another sip, and now as we exhale, we push that air up through from that lower belly all the way up, past the lungs, through the throat. And it's okay now to open your mouth and just AJ ha, let it go. Let's breathe like that a couple more times on your own. And as you breathe, take note of how your body feels. Put breathing aside, continue breathing on your own, and we're going to come back to it. So go ahead now and wiggle your fingers and toes and reach your arms overhead, really stretching, lengthening that spine. Bring your knees into your chest, giving yourself a hug, and now we want to try to bring our neck into the mat. Take a big exhale. We bend our knees now as if we were sitting in a chair that was lying on the ground. Put your hands right on your kneecaps, and we're going to pull the legs around in leg circles. Today we're going to be working with hip openers, so I want you to be aware of how tight your hips are now as you pull those legs around. Go ahead and bring those knees into your chest and extend out fingertips and toes. Really point the toes and lengthen. And we take our palms and put them right next to our thighs. Let's bend our right knee towards the ceiling and point that left toe towards the ceiling. Release the foot now in a couple of circles with the ankle 
and releasing through that foot. Then we're gonna take that left ankle and cross over that right knee. And go ahead, you can press into the mat as you roll up, looking at the navel, pushing that lower back into the mat. Go ahead, take your left hand and make sure that lower back is released into the mat. Then we lift up that right foot. This is eye of the needle, so we thread one hand in between and the other on the outside of that right thigh. Be sure to cross your fingertips, your fingers and your thumbs. And then we get a little bit of a pull on that right thigh. And now roll the head down, lengthening through the spine, through the top of the head. I'm gonna give a little, one more pull and exhale and release. Feet down, lengthen the hands overhead. <laughs> Go to bring your palms now on either side of the thighs. We're going to bend now that left knee towards the ceiling and point the right toe up. As we release the foot, a couple of circles. Releasing energy. Go ahead then and cross that right ankle over the left knee. And as we roll up, you can push into the mat with your palms. We lift up that left leg and thread eye of the needle, interlocking both hands behind that left thigh. You can gently push that right thigh out with that right elbow. And then roll down onto the mat, lengthening through the top of the head, releasing that lower back. Go ahead and extend out fingertips and toes and reach. Bring those knees into your chest, wrapping the right arm around, left arm overhead. As we rock over to the side so we can get up safely, put the right hand in front of you, stay sideways as long as you can, and push yourself up to a seated position, facing front. Go ahead and cross your legs right away again. Tune into how your hips feel. We're going to reach those arms up towards the sky. Our gaze is towards the sky, and so is, so is our heart. Go ahead now and cartwheel the arms downward and hold on to the shoulders. We do a couple of circles with our shoulders in both directions. Then lift the chin up. And now take a big inhale, reach those arms out, and the right arm comes under the left. And go ahead and reach for those shoulder blades. Drop the elbows down. Take a big exhale. Reach those arms out again, crossing the other way this time. Reach for those shoulder blades and drop the elbows down. Lift the chin up. You should feel enormous stretching through the top of the shoulders. Go ahead now, we're going to come around on all fours. So you want to be facing front on all fours. So make sure that your knees are under your hips. And we want to move our hands up so that they're a little in front of the shoulders. So we avoid stress to the wrist. So now we're just going to come to that neutral spine. Take a big inhale here. And let's lift those toes up to the ceiling, opening up, making a space in between each toe. And go ahead and put the right arch under the left. As we walk the hands forward, we're gonna sit back on the heel, stretching the top of the feet, lengthening in this active child's pose. Gently push yourself up on all fours again and open those toes. And now the left arch under the right. Make sure to be in the arch and not at the ankle. And as we sit back, we're going to walk those fingers forward. Pull your shoulder blades together. Really open that chest. Take a big exhale. Let's come up to all fours again. Open up those toes. And now we're going to put the top of the feet onto the mat. We connect again with our breathing. So let's take a big inhale here. And as you exhale, lift up through the navel, tucking the tailbone under, looking at that navel into cat. 
As you inhale, bring that navel down and the head and the tailbone come up into cow. Eyeballs to the ceiling, close the mouth, stretch the neck. As you exhale, come back into cow. Inhale, going up towards the ceiling. And go ahead and look at that tail as you wag side to side. And then come to the center. Walk yourself up to the front of the mat. And begin wagging that tail again. We're now going to do our sciatica stretch. It's also a great stretch at the end of the day to revitalize your legs. So let's wag the tail and hold over to the right. Then we take the left knee forward about a foot, slide that right leg back on the top of the foot, come to your forearms, interlock your fingers, and you can release your head downward and take a big exhale. And then gently push yourself up to all fours again and rock side to side. This time I'm going to rock over to the left. Bring that right knee up, about a foot, slide the left leg back, come to the forearms and interlock the fingers and the thumbs, releasing your head downward. Push yourself up to all fours. So if you're going to do this at home, continue wagging the tail. You want to do it three times on each side. And remember, we always, always want to do the cat cow first to warm up that spine. So we'll do it two more times. Go ahead and rock over to the right. The left knee comes up about a foot. Slide back. Interlock those fingers as you come down to the forearms and exhale. Lastly, on all fours, rocking side to side. Rock over to the left, that right knee comes up and you slide back. Again, coming to the forearms, resting the head on the hands. <clears throat> exhale. Come up on all fours now. And let's curl our toes under, really push through the feet. You might feel a tightness in that fascia muscle on the arch of the foot, so it's okay to just push through the feet. Your toes pointing your knees. Take a big inhale and push yourself up into downward facing dog. In downward facing dog, we want to externally rotate those inner thighs and take a big exhale. As we begin to drop the heels to the mat, we want to start to walk in, stretching those hamstrings. As we step up our hands, our feet in between our hands and bend your knees, place your hands right above the knees and roll up vertebrae in time. Against that invisible wall behind you into Tadasana. In Tadasana, let's bring our feet together, toe, toe, heel, heel. And then roll your shoulders back. Focus on that point in front of you. So just pause for a minute and feel your balance. Take a big inhale now. And breathe and exhale and release. As we take an inhale now, we're going to reach those arms up towards the ceiling. Go ahead and interlock the fingers. And stretch up towards the sky, chin chest to the sky, plant the feet into the mat, and reach up high. Take a big exhale now, release those arms down as we prepare for our sun salutation. Come up to the front of the mat. We're going to do this three times, and this is to warm up the body, get the muscles moving together, and try to connect your breath with your movements. So go ahead, toe, toe, heel, heel, and Tadasana. Take a big inhale. And exhale and release. One more big inhale as we reach up into high mountain. As you exhale, we forward fold. Head and tailbone come up, monkey pose. Hands are on the shins. Hands come down, left leg comes back. 
Off into your lunge. Let's bring that left hip forward, the right hip back, and sink a little lower. Bring the hands down now, right foot comes back into downward facing dog. Left foot comes forward, we lunge the other side. Reach up towards the sky, bringing that right hip forward, left hip back, and balance. Back into downward dog, and now we're going to walk in, feet are flat, toe, toe, heel, heel. As we bend the knees now, squeeze the legs together and reach forward in a strong chair. Reach up into high mountain and arms are down to Dasana. We'll do it two more times again, trying to get our breathing connected with our body. Take a big inhale. Reach and Fold. Monkey. Lunge. Take a big exhale. And let's begin. Reach those arms up, interlocking the fingers, pressing together the index finger, crossing the thumbs, and now let's pull our palms together. Anybody who's on a phone or computer, it's great for your wrist. We externally rotate those triceps and reach that chest up towards the sky. Now we plant the toes into the mat and reach up higher. And now, as we exhale, we crescent over to the right. Take a big inhale, reach up towards the sky and crescent to the left. Continually painting the ceiling and lifting more each time. <clears throat> As we reach over to the left, press that right foot into the mat. As you reach over to the right, press that left foot into the mat. This is our stress release, so allow that stress to vanish. We come to the center now, and we're gonna open up both hands, roll the shoulders back, externally rotate those triceps, in our MU pose. This is a strong posture, so we pull our navel in. As we reach forward, trying to maintain those hips over the ankles, reach towards me. As we come down, your stomach on your quadriceps, your chest on your knees, hands are either on the mat, or if you feel more balanced, right behind your calves, and now we roll the head down so the nose is below the kneecaps. Try to straighten the legs back. Take an exhale, release into this posture. Take an inhale as you do, reaching forward, lifting up into a standing position. Hands come down to Dasana. We go into our balance section now. We start with two-legged balance. Remember, we're trying to maintain balance, so we want to work for it. The process much more important than the posture itself. So go ahead and take that right foot and bring it over so your feet are at 11. We want to open our toes and press the big toe, little toe, and heel into the mat. We bring our arms up in front of you, and we zip up all fingers and the thumbs, and we roll the shoulders back. We want that back to be flat. We take a big inhale, breathe across the chest. As you exhale, sit back and reach forward. Go ahead and drop the shoulders down, flatten that back. The weight should be in the heels, flatten the toes. Pull the navel in, tailbone out, and rib cage up. Now we push into the mat, imprinting those feet into a standing position. We're going to come up to the tiptoes, and we start to bend the knees forward. As we slide down that invisible wall, keep the shoulders in line with the hips. Lock out the elbows. Keep reaching towards me. Come down so it's mildly uncomfortable, 
And now we want to lift up into those high tiptoes. So we lift the kneecaps to the ceiling, push into the mat, and come back down to Tadasana. Take a big exhale. As we continue on, go ahead then and take that left foot and bring, bring it over to your feet on 11. We're going to do this three times, three more times. So zip up the fingers, bring the hands in front of you. Lift up the chin high. Take a big inhale. Roll the shoulders back. As you exhale, sit back and reach forward. Creating that human traction between your fingers and your hips. Pulling forward, drop the shoulders, lift the rib cage. Push into the mat. Now immediately the knees caps towards the ceiling. Push against the wall. Trying to maintain balance. Focus on that point in front of you. Pull that navel in so that the hands to the knees are like you're holding a box. Push into the mat and come back to Tadasana. Take a big exhale. Take that right foot again and go ahead and bring the feet into an 11. We want to line up that second toe with the knee and the hip. Bring the hands in front of you. Zip up the fingers, roll the shoulders back. Take a big inhale. As you exhale, go ahead and sit back and reach forward. So sit back, way back, and reach forward. We're going to drop the weight into the heels, lock out the elbows, drop the shoulders down. Pull that navel in, gluteal out, rib cage lifted, push into the mat. Come up to your tiptoes, kneecaps to the ceiling, come down. Feel tremendous stretching in those knees, in those hips, in those ankles. Try to balance. Push those feet into the mat and come back down to Dasana. So we should be pretty heated up now. Let me do it one more time. Shoulders back. Lift that chin up. Push until it's uncomfortable. Push into the mat and come back to Tadasana. We go into our single leg balance. And from here, let's do standing bow today. So we'll just do it once on each side. Go ahead and lift that palm to the ceiling, zipping up all the fingers. We want our arm at a right angle. And then we come out to the side. So this includes our rotator cuff in our work. We drop that hand down. Go ahead and we can lift up the other hand. And then we lift up that right foot, grabbing on the inside of the ankle. We'll tuck that thumb in. Reach the arm up. Point the toe, reaching forward. Maintain balance. Keep pulling forward. Keep pointing that back toe. Rib cage to the floor. Stretch and reach and come back to Tadasana. Let's try it on the other side. Palm to the ceiling, open to the side. Drop that hand down. This arm coming up for balance. Drop the shoulders so that you're in a rectangle. And now we take that left foot. Go ahead and grab on the inside of the ankle. Point that back toe immediately. If you're wobbling here, bring the hips together. Lift that hip up. As a bow, pull the toes back and up and the fingers forward. Keep on pulling and balancing. The more you pull, the easier it is to maintain. Keep pointing and reaching. Take a big exhale, release, and come back down to Tadasana. We we'll take a moment now and bring our breathing down Heart rate should be up just a little bit. And just focus on the tree pose. We go into our consistent breathing of five breaths, which we're going to use for most of our postures and our asanas. So we want to face forward and find that place, that point in front of you. We're going to find our tree. So as you find your tree, go ahead and shift your weight into that right foot and bring the left foot up, finding a tree. That tree can be high, high, or low. Just find your place to focus. 
As we exhale now, we want to begin our breathing five slow breaths. Exhale and inhale. Focus on that point in front of you. If you start to sway a little bit, that's okay. When you hit your five breaths, bring your feet down to Tadasana. And let's switch to the other side. Plant that left foot into the mat, lift up tall, find that point in front of you, and begin your five breaths. As we swan dive forward, coming down to all fours, we begin our asana. Go ahead and curl those toes under. Find your neutral spine. You should have the block in front of you or close to you so that you can use it when needed. Take a big inhale and release. Go ahead then inhale and push yourself up into downward facing dog. Externally rotate your inner thighs and we just want two breaths here. Now we're going to take our left hand and move it to the center of your mat, lining up those thumbs so they meet. Take a big inhale now and take that left foot and bring it up into our lizard posture so that the left toes meet those left fingers. Go ahead and bring that right hip forward and slowly bring that right knee down to the mat. Leaving that foot curled under, we're gonna extend through the top of the head, leaving that back flat. Here's where you can use the block if you'd like, or if you're really flexible, you can come down to your forearms onto the mat. Gently, we're going to open up that left hip to the side. So we're going to turn on the side of your left foot. So if you glance over, you can see the bottom of your foot. In this lizard posture, again, you can use your block here, we want five breaths. As you breathe, Allow that left leg to fall to the side. Put and push yourself up on the mat. And we're going to now bend that right foot towards your back. Reach around with that left hand. And open your chest to the side, pulling the shoulder blades together. And look up into the sky and begin your five breaths. And we're gonna walk that left foot over to meet your right wrist. And then bring that left knee down to meet your left wrist. Extend the top of the foot to the front of the mat. And go ahead now, if you can, parallel that shin to the front of the mat. In this pigeon pose, we come down slowly. Take that block, put it under your head. Here we're going to breathe for a minute. So we want 10 breaths. So take a big exhale. And release yourself into the mat. And now as we lift ourselves up, we're going to sit back on that left hip and swing the right leg around, stacking the shins on top of each other for our fire log. And bring the block in front of us. 
press your hands on the block and open your chest, pushing forward through the lower back as we begin our 10 breaths here. In the fire law position, seems like this knee is never gonna go down. So allow it to open up. Focus more on your breath as you push that lower back forward. Allow the breathing to fill your whole body. Just for two breaths to pause. I'm going to bring your legs to the side and come back to your all fours position. <clears throat> Flex those toes, press them under. Take two deep breaths here and connect with your neutral spine. As you inhale, push up into downward facing dog, externally rotating your inner thighs. For two breaths. And now we're gonna bring our right hand to the center of your mat, lining up your thumbs. Take a big inhale and bring that right foot up so that the toes meet your right fingers. Draw that right hip back and the left hip forward as you slowly bring that left knee to the mat. Go ahead and come down to your forearms either on the block or the mat. Interlock those fingers. The head should be aligned with the back and supported by the back. And let that right hip open up as the right knee comes to the side. Again, turning on the edge of that right foot. Look under, see the sole of your foot. We want five breaths here. And push yourself up. Lift up that left foot, reach the right arm around to hold on to that foot as you twist the torso towards the sky, pulling the shoulder blades together and begin your breaths. Continually pulling those shoulder blades together, continually twisting towards the sky. that last breath as we lower that left foot towards the mat, top of the foot into the mat. We're going to walk that right leg over. We're going to bring that right knee down in line with the right wrist. And now we want to parallel that right shin to the front of the mat. Slowly lower yourself down to the mat, placing your head on the block so we leave room to breathe, room to open. As we begin our breathing, we're going to stay here for one minute. A little bit more is all right. Allow that hip to open up as you breathe. Release yourself down into the mat. Let's come up into proud vision. We bring that right hip to the mat. Swing the left leg around into fire log. 
putting that block in front of you, resting your hands on that block. Go ahead and roll the hips forward, push that lower back forward and open your chest. And allow your breathing to open your hips. You want one, more, at least one minute of breathing. Go ahead and come into your seated child's pose, pushing your lower back forward. Allow your hips to relax. Just for two breaths, two deep breaths. And bring your knees to the side and come back to all fours position. This time, I'm gonna make sure that we have that cross mat in line with your knees. Bring that block in front of you. And now we're going to walk the knees out to meet that mat. So we want our knees to be wider. Go ahead and flex the feet, lining up the ankles to the knees as we come down to the forearms, either on the block or if you're comfortable with it, all the way down the mat, resting your head on the block. And we begin our breathing here. We want 30 deep breaths for about three minutes in this hip opener. As we continue our breathing, Searching for that balance between work and rest. Releasing exhale, we're going to walk the knees inward towards each other. We're going to extend the left leg out and then the right leg out so that you're in this prone position on your mat. And then go ahead and roll over onto your back. And we bend the knees slightly, pushing that into those hips up and placing that block right under that sacrum. Feel a little pressure on that sacrum. We're going to open up your shoulders to the mat and extend your legs outward, palms to the ceiling. And close your eyes here in the savasana. We want to return our breathing back to normal. And as we release into the savasana, focus on your center. And again, allow your breathing to happen. Just so gonna stay in the savasana. four to five minutes. We want to gently lift our knees to the ceiling so that we can take the block out over to the side. And then we want to roll down from that upper back all the way down to that tailbone. Roll down 
and extend the feet outward, hands to the ceiling. And just allow your benefits. Allow yourself to feel that release spine and back. Open hips. You look over to the left and over to the right. And we notice the ease of being able to move our head side to side and the release of our upper neck, upper back. We come to the center, we wiggle our fingertips and we wiggle our toes. We begin to activate our nerve endings. Reach your arms overhead. Take a big exhale. Notice the length of your spine. Bring your knees into your chest now. It should be next to each other, leaving pathways open as you hug and rock side to side. that left arm overhead and rock over to the left, leaving our hips and our shoulders stacked, focusing in on your spine and your release spine in this position. Pause there for a moment. Take our right hand and safely push ourselves up to a seated position facing front. I'm going to try a half a lotus here. <coughs> Full lotus. Take a big inhale now, reach up into that chi, crossing the thumbs. As we bring the thumbs to our heart, we lift those elbows, and we wish each other namaste. Nice practice, everybody. If you have any questions, let me know. How do your hips feel? Good? 